Welcome to this installment of Sugar CRM Tutorials for AtCore Systems. Today we will focus on using an Excel CSV file to import data into your installation of Sugar CRM. Let's get started. First, head to your Sugar CRM installation and log in. Once this is done, hover over Contacts in the top menu. You will see another menu drop down that contains the link Import Contacts. Go ahead and select that. You will now see the first step in the import process and two options. For now we will choose to use a local file, but keep in mind that later you can use the external option to import contacts from Gmail as well. Also you may notice the small information icons. You can click on each one to learn a bit more about the option before committing. Go ahead and click next. On step two, we get to select the file to use. Once you have your file, click browse to locate your newly created file and then click OK. Your next option is to either create new records or create new records while updating existing records. We're just adding new records right now, but if you have a master list of records in an Excel CSV file and made a few changes while adding some new entries, then you would select the second option. Go ahead and click next. Up next, step three. You will now see your data presented as Sugar CRM sees it. Scan through and make sure that everything looks fine, and if you are feeling adventurous, then click on the Show Import File Properties. Here, you can change a multitude of options for your file. Sugar CRM's default should be fine if you use the preformatted template. If not, then make changes as needed. Since we did not use Salesforce.com or Outlook, then we can choose none for the next option. Click Next. Now with Step 4, we are presented with some mapping options. Everything looks good here, but if there was a mistake mapping the columns, then that would show here. These errors can be fixed by making sure the header field on the left from the file matches the appropriate file within Sugar. You can also add a field not listed in the file and give a default value that will be applied to all entries contained in the file. Go ahead and click Next. Here we are at step 5 and things are looking great. This step is simply used to make sure there are no duplicate entries. You can choose as many fields from the right as you would like. I'm just going to drag over the full name option. You can also enter a name for the options you have entered to save them for the next time. After you are done, click Import Now. Here we are, last step. Step 6. Honestly, the import has already been completed, but this step is necessary to make note of any errors or duplicates that may have arisen. You can select the tabs and browse through the report to see what the errors were. If there were any unacceptable errors or too many duplicates, then you can select Undo Import and remove all the additions. I think we are okay with the results and will continue. Click Exit. You can now browse through your contacts and make sure that all looks fine. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this installment of Sugar CRM tutorials covering importing an Excel document within Sugar CRM, and you're well on your way to becoming an expert user. Feel free to come back to these videos anytime that you need a refresher, or if you need any further assistance, then contact your AtCore Systems Sugar CRM support staff. Thanks!